baby ghast and welcome to another redstone video and today i've been watching lots of mumbo jumbo and his 100 doors in 20 seconds i mean 20 doors in 100 seconds and i wanted to build that so i did so say thank you to mumbo jumbo for inspiring this idea to me and now i've built one and i want to show you it you have to put a mask on as well you could just go back in the video and read the rules whilst I was talking. But you can, if you want to play it, just, I don't know what you should do. May, I might put it up for download when it's finished, probably not. But enjoy, I won't speak until I go, get to the end. So guys, I've shown you all the doors, so I'm going to show you all the redstone and how each one works now. So, if you do not, you're not really interested in that, just turn off the video now, but please remember to subscribe and like still. So, and share. So, here we are, we're back at the start, and I'm going to show you how they work. I'm going to skip these start ones, because they don't have red any redstone and this one here is a two by one door super simple one redstone and one torch there that's all you need for that one now you've got this one here darn it it does almost the same thing you stand on it and it does that and then you can go through it's a two by two piston door this one has got actually quite a little bit of redstone underneath here and leading up to there then when you step on the pressure plates, they open and then they close. You're wondering, Xbox has a new update for Minecraft and when I made the video it's not in this update yet. So yeah, this is a 3x3 three three piston door, uses lots, it's quite complex and it uses lots of circuits and it opens pretty quickly as well and closes pretty quickly. So that's my 3x3 three three door I made and it uses quite a few complex circuits and here we've got the Jeb door made by Jeb which is here in the wall got the 3x2 Jeb door which I made up because the floor goes down and that opens up got the Ben's door you walk through the gap because it glitches so you can get through and that closes it back so you have to walk through it fairly quickly then next we've got the 2x2 flush door and what a flush door is, it's a hidden door which is in the floor. I always thought a flush door was one of those doors which water came down when you press the button or the pressure pad or something, but no. This is a crazy door which I made up and it goes open, close, open, close on each side. Here we've got another 2x2 two two door but it opens up and down instead of left and right. It's pretty quick as well. Here is my shower door. 
go off it and then there's no water, you go back on it and there's water. It's just dispensers under there with water in them. And then there's a door which closes when you stand on it. So lots of people get confused. Here's my 2x2 two two prison door which I made. It uses some comp so a one one circuit which is pretty cool. And I forgot what it's called now. And here's my 2x1 sand door. This one I am pretty proud of how how compact I could do the redstone. And we got this door in here which is the, the hidden stair door. Not too bad, the redstone. We've got the rubbish piston. It's just a piston. Oh my god, I broke it. How do we fix it? Do we put it there? Do we put it there? My mind's just blank. I don't know how to do redstone anymore. I'm a weirdo. Not really, I'm not a weirdo. If I was a weirdo, I wouldn't be making cool videos. Then we fall down there, but I missed accidentally. Sorry, guys. And then we fall, go up, and go through here. You're wondering what's happened to my Pikmin 2 Let's Play as well? I haven't done it for ages, but don't worry, because there probably will be some more Pikmin 2 Let's Play. And there might even be a Pikmin 3 Let's Play. And this is a little door here I made. It's quite cute. Oh, It's just a normal door, just pistons. Don't need that. I've got a quartz door with a hole in it. It's the same as a 2x2 two two door. How it works. We've got this one, the t the pressure plate wooden door, which is very simple, and it gives you enough time to not bang into the door. Here we've got the three by three sand door, which I have built on my redstone world. So if you want to see that, go on my redstone world video, and I've got some cool creations for you guys. And I might do some tutorials on some of these cool doors, like the big ones, like the three by three one. Got a two by two sand door. This one is also fairly compact. And the next one we got is the two by one Jeb door, hidden in there. And this one's pretty complex. You stand on it, stairs pop out, and then a Jeb door opens. Got a few circuits down there going around. We got the library door there. There's just bookcases which open. We got some redstone down there. We got. This weird door, or the top half opens and the bottom half doors. Next one, it changes the fence to a block because you can't do it with fences. I don't know how to explain it. Here we've got the 3x3 three three vault door, which is pretty cool how it works because you can't really open it on that side. And this has got lots of complex circuits as well, including a double piston extender, which I'll do a tutorial on maybe and we've got a door it looks like it's going to be three by three but it isn't just the sides open up to trick people and uh, I'm, j I'm just gonna have a little mess around because it's not quite the end of the video so let's go <coughs> so Rocket Lane 4 said to me for my 30 subscriber special you should jump off this place from the height limit and just scream all the way down. I'm not sure, and even if you don't like me screaming, please don't unsubscribe because I'm probably only going to do that once. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, and share. Bye, baby guys. Ah!